Hi, welcome to my channel, Cook Mama Cook. In today's video, I will be making three easy and delicious appetizers that the whole family would love. Keep watching, please subscribe. Let's get right into today's video. For my first appetizer, it kind of needs no introduction. If you enjoy hot dogs, you would love this recipe and I'm sure you have had it before. It goes by several names. I'm sure they all mean the same thing. <laughs> I didn't miss anything on Google. Um, pigs in a blanket, cocktail franks, little hot dogs, mini hot dogs, all the same thing, all taste delicious. I am using this dough. I I mean, I like the ones that are already store-bought, you know, in the little packaging, but you can do this yourself if you'd like to use a different kind of dough, if you are gluten-free, or if you don't like those ingredients in the packaged ones, try this out. You can buy nitrate-free hot dogs, which I did, and which I always do whenever my family and I are having hot dogs, unless we're outside and I cannot control the restaurant or other people's homes. But in my home, I love nitrate-free hot dogs, so that's what I am using. And these, it came out absolutely delicious. It's very simple to do. You can even get your kids to help with you. Very simple. And yeah, this is one of our favorites. Okay, this next appetizer, if you love mushrooms, get ready for this one. I have been making this for more than a decade for sure. I This is one of my favorite holiday go-tos for appetizers on, you know, a special date night with my husband. I love making this. My child loves this as well. So it is kid-friendly if they do love eating mushrooms. You know, you can make it spicy or you can make it salty and sweet or just, you know, very savory.
Okay, this last appetizer, you could even have it as like a little lunch. You could have it on the side, maybe for a brunch or even dinner, but this is really cool for an appetizer. I used mashed potatoes. You can make it fresh that day or if you have some left over, just add an egg to it or if not, if you, you can totally omit that if you'd like. I used some pimento peppers, lots of seasoning with smoked paprika, Italian herbs. I used panko breadcrumbs as well, but you could use any kind of breadcrumbs and um, some cheese and some ham. But Literally, you can make this recipe and just make it with the mashed potatoes and some herbs and seasoning, some cheese. Grated cheese is even nice. And yeah, it's a fun one and good for the kids if you if they're picky eaters and you wanna sneak in some even vegetables. I should have added maybe some spinach, chopped spinach, chopped parsley, but I didn't have that on hand at the moment. So I went for more of a fill-in one with uh, cheese and ham. I'm not sure if I even mentioned what these are called. You can call them mashed potato cups. I believe that's what I saw when I saw it online. I mean, cause I'm using this cupcake muffin bacon pan and they come out like cute little cupcakes. Really good. Um, just make sure you spray your pan before or maybe even use liners if you'd like, but very good recipe. Let me know below if you have tried this before or if you plan on making it. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. I have tons more videos lined up that you will enjoy. If you try any of these recipes, please tag me on Instagram or let me know in the comments below how you liked it. I will see you in my next one. Bye.